Hey guys, welcome back to Lindsay Loves. We have another Friday Faves in 5 today, and I'm going to be sharing 5 products that I like in 5 minutes. So let's get started. So the first product I wanted to share was this Essie Gel Couture Nail Polish. This is in the shade Pave Your Way, and this is kind of a grayish with a little bit of bluish kind of deep color. It's what I have on my nails today. Um, but this is the only nail polish that I wear on my fingers, this brand. Um, I can't wear any other polish. It always chips immediately. So if this stays on a whole week, I am really happy. Um, if you see behind me, I have a whole collection of those polishes and love them, can't get enough of them. But this is the newest one to my collection and I'm really liking this dark color for fall. The second one is a little random, but I recently went to TJ Maxx and you'll see that shopping trip soon. I have a shop with me and haul coming up. Um, but while I was there, I happened to see this mug and Breakfast at Tiffany's is one of my favorite movies. I love Audrey Hepburn. And so it has just the logo on the front and then on the other side, it has Audrey Hepburn staring in the Tiffany's window with her breakfast just looking at all the jewels and I thought it was so cute. A mug is absolutely the last thing I need. I have 5,000 mugs and if someone were to give me one I would probably cringe <laughs> and yet this was only $3.99 so I absolutely had to pick it up. I think it's adorable so even if I just store makeup brushes or something like that I had to get it. Moving right along, product number three is this pair of what looks like Gucci loafers. There are a million Gucci loafer dupes out there, so that is not what makes these special. Um, what I think makes these special is the fact that they are not a dupe that is, I don't know, $20 from a cheapo store in the mall, but these are actually quality. They are real leather inside and out, and these are from Coach. Um, they have the same horse bit style uh, design on the front and they are comfortable. The leather makes them a lot more comfortable on the inside than like a man-made material would be and I love these. I think these are going to be so cute for fall and winter. I bought these used on Mercari. You can buy them new and I will link to that below. They are I believe $80 new which is still a steal compared to the $100 for the Gucci loafers. Um, but these are great, they are quality, and like I said, I bought mine used, so they were like new, but they cost even less than the $80. Um, even $80, I think they're totally worth it, and I cannot wait to wear these. Okay, many of you have probably heard of Sol de Janeiro before. They make what looks like bomb bomb. some say it's a boom boom, I don't know how you pronounce it, but they make what looks like, it's called the bomb bomb cream. Uh, and this is the body spray version of that scent, that lotion scent. So it is pricey um, for a body mist, but at the same time I've used this pretty much all summer long um, and you can see that's how much is gone. So this is a very strong scent and it doesn't last all day like a perfume would, but it lasts quite a while. and. I don't know how to describe the scent um, other than it's addicting. The second you smell it, it's just overwhelming. Um, it's one of those scents that you want to eat. <laughs> it has, they say it has like caramel, pistachio, I don't know what other notes are in there, um, but it's just something that immediately it's like I have to have this. So I love the lotion. The lotion scent does last longer than the body spray. And I do like that more in the winter. It is more of a summer scent, but I feel like you can also kind of carry it through and it's fine. And this is just easy. So if I don't feel like applying a lotion and taking the time for that, I can mist a couple mists of this on and I'm out the door and I think it is just amazing. Every time I wear this, my husband says I smell good. I don't even think he knows what this is. <laughs> Um, it's still a lot cheaper than a perfume though, and I really love this stuff. Okay, and then the final item, <laughs> I might be the only person in the world who still buys CDs, but I actually did buy the CD of this. Um, this is the Dixie Chicks newest album. It was supposed to come out earlier this year, 
then they moved it to later this year and then it came out kind of randomly in midsummer so I picked this up probably a month ago or so um, it is not a CD that I can listen to with my kids in the car there are some uh, words and a few songs that I'd rather them not hear but this is such a good CD especially if you like country music um, it's got a lot of I don't know angry songs a lot of sad kind of breakup songs it's just that perfect country album and I don't know it's just whatever mood you're in I feel like there's a song for it on here I've always loved the Dixie Chicks I've loved them since their first album and when they took their I don't know 10 or 12 year break I was heartbroken so the fact that they're back is awesome so when the kids aren't in the car this is what I've been listening to that's your Friday faves in five that was a quick one and I just wanted to say thank you again for watching uh, if you're watching this on an actual Friday, then today is my birthday, so I am glad to be able to share these things with you on my birthday, and I hope that you are enjoying these videos. Please give it a thumbs up. I will talk to you guys next week, and have a great weekend. Mm -hmm.